the air hung heavy with the scent of eucalyptus, a fragrance that usually brought peace and calm to the senses. But today, it mingled with the raw metallic tang of blood, creating a haunting contrast. It was a Sunday, a day meant for families, for laughter, for life, a day when the community came together to celebrate the simple joys of existence. But on this fateful day, death had cast a long, chilling shadow over Neathy Bridge, turning joy into sorrow. A mangled bus lay at the bottom of the ravine, a grim testament to the fragility of life and the unforgiving nature of metal and speed. The twisted wreckage told a story of sudden, violent disruption. Twelve souls, on a journey towards their destinies, were abruptly denied their arrival. Their dreams and hopes extinguished in an instant. They became another tragic statistic in the long, grim history of Neathy Bridge, a place already marred by numerous such incidents. The picturesque landscape, normally a source of pride for the people of Tharaka Neathy County, stood as a mute witness to the horror, its beauty overshadowed by the tragedy. The lush green slopes, usually alive with the sound of birdsong, were now punctuated by the anguished cries of first responders, their efforts a desperate attempt to salvage what they could, and the mournful wails of those who rushed to the scene, their hearts pounding with a dreadful premonition. The air was thick with grief and disbelief. For them, the bridge, once a symbol of connection and progress, had transformed into a symbol of heartbreak and loss, a place where dreams were shattered and lives irrevocably changed. Among the twelve souls lost were two innocent children, their laughter silenced forever. Their dreams, their hopes, and their futures were all stolen in an instant, leaving behind a silence that echoes through the hearts of those who loved them. Their mothers, their protectors, perished alongside them, their embrace unable to shield them from the brutal impact. These women, who once cradled their children with love and care, now rest eternally with them, their stories intertwined in tragedy. Eight women, each with their own story to tell, their dreams yet to be fulfilled, were tragically robbed of their futures. They were daughters, sisters, and friends, each contributing to the fabric of their communities in unique and irreplaceable ways. Two men, their strength and love no match for the unforgiving metal, completed the grim tally. They were fathers, brothers, and sons, pillars of their families, whose absence leaves a gaping hole in the lives of those they left behind. There was Mary, a teacher on her way back to the school where she nurtured young minds. Her dedication to her students was unwavering, and her loss is felt deeply by the entire community. John, a young entrepreneur, was heading to Nairobi with hopes of expanding his business. His ambition and drive were a source of inspiration to many, and his potential was boundless. And little Amani, barely five years old, was excited about the new toy her mother had promised her. Her innocent joy and boundless energy were a light in the lives of her family. Their stories, like their lives, were diverse and vibrant, each thread woven into the rich tapestry of Kenyan life. They represented the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of a nation, each contributing to its colorful mosaic. And then, in a heartbeat, their threads were cruelly severed, leaving behind a void that could never be filled. The loss is immeasurable, and the pain a constant reminder of the fragility of life. Initial investigations revealed a chilling truth. The driver of the ill-fated bus was unfamiliar with the treacherous descent approaching Neathy Bridge. This lack of knowledge about the road's dangerous curves and steep inclines would soon prove catastrophic. This lack of familiarity, coupled with what witnesses described as excessive speed, proved to be a fatal combination. Eyewitnesses recounted the bus hurtling down the slope, its speed increasing uncontrollably, as if it were a bullet shot from a gun. The bus, carrying the weight of 12 lives and countless dreams, careened out of control, its brakes screaming in protest as it hurtled towards the edge. The passengers, unaware of the impending doom, clung to their seats their faces masks of fear and confusion. The guardrails, meant to act as a safety barrier, offered little resistance to the runaway vehicle. The metal crumpled like paper, unable to withstand the force of the speeding bus. The bus smashed through the metal as if it were paper and then began its fatal plunge into the abyss. The descent seemed endless, a horrifying freefall that felt like an eternity. The impact was deafening, echoing through the valley, a terrifying sound that would forever be etched in the minds of those who heard it. The once serene valley was now a scene of chaos and destruction. 
For the passengers on the bus, there was no time to react, no time to pray, no time to say goodbye. Their lives were irrevocably changed in an instant, leaving behind a trail of sorrow and unanswered questions. The Neathy Bridge accident, as devastating as it was, was not an isolated incident. This notorious bridge has long been a scar on the landscape, its name whispered with fear and sorrow. Over the years, this bridge has witnessed countless accidents, each one claiming precious lives and leaving behind a trail of shattered families. The steep descent, the sharp curves and the unforgiving terrain have all conspired to make this stretch of road a death trap. Despite numerous calls for improved safety measures, the bridge continues to claim victims. Each accident serves as a grim reminder of the human cost of negligence and the urgent need for action. The question remains, how many more lives must be lost before meaningful change is implemented? Section 5. Echoes of Anguish, The Aftermath The news of the accident spread like wildfire, plunging the nation into mourning. The community of Tharaka Nithi, accustomed to the breathtaking beauty of their surroundings, was now confronted with the stark reality of tragedy. The air, once filled with the sounds of life, was now thick with grief and disbelief. The scene at the bottom of the ravine was one of utter devastation. Rescue workers toiled tirelessly, their faces grim as they worked to extricate the victims from the mangled wreckage. Volunteers rushed to donate blood, while others offered comfort and support to the families of the deceased. In the face of unimaginable loss, the community came together, their shared grief a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Section 6. Official Voices, Seeking Answers and Accountability In the wake of the tragedy, government officials descended on the scene, their expressions somber as they surveyed the wreckage. Promises were made. Promises of a thorough investigation, promises of justice for the victims, promises of improved road safety measures. But for the families who had lost their loved ones, these promises rang hollow. Their grief was raw, their pain palpable. The president, in his address to the nation, expressed his deep sorrow and offered condolences to the bereaved families. He ordered a swift investigation into the cause of the accident and vowed to hold those responsible accountable. The minister of transport, his voice heavy with emotion, pledged to implement stricter safety regulations and to improve road infrastructure across the country. Section 7. Road Safety – A Shared Responsibility The Neathy Bridge tragedy serves as a stark reminder that road safety is not just the responsibility of the government or law enforcement agencies, it is a shared responsibility. Every time we get behind the wheel of a car, we hold the lives of others in our hands. We must treat this responsibility with the utmost seriousness. Speeding, reckless driving, driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. These are not just traffic violations, they are reckless acts with potentially fatal consequences. We must be vigilant, not just for our own safety, but for the safety of everyone on the road. Let us remember that a moment of carelessness can result in a lifetime of regret. Section 8. Preventing Future Tragedies, A Call for Action The Nithi Bridge tragedy must serve as a wake-up call. It is time for concrete action to prevent such horrific accidents from happening again. We need to go beyond condolences and promises. We need a comprehensive approach that addresses all aspects of road safety. This includes improving road infrastructure, particularly on known black spots like Nithi Bridge. It involves stricter enforcement of traffic rules and regulations with severe penalties for violators. It requires public awareness campaigns that educate drivers about the importance of responsible driving, and it necessitates investment in public transportation to provide safer alternatives for commuters. Section 9, In Memoriam, Honoring the Departed As we grapple with the enormity of this tragedy, let us take a moment to remember the victims. They were mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, friends, colleagues, each one a precious life cut short their dreams, their aspirations, their love for their families, all extinguished in a matter of seconds. Let their untimely deaths not be in vain. Let their memory inspire us to create a safer, more responsible driving culture in Kenya. Let us honor their lives by working towards a future where no family has to endure the pain and suffering caused by a preventable road accident. Section 10, The Long Road to Healing. 
The road ahead for the families of the victims will be long and arduous. They will have to navigate the complexities of grief, loss, and trauma. They will need our support, our empathy, and our understanding. Let us offer them solace in their time of need, remembering that true healing takes time. The community of Tharakanithi too will need time to heal. The scars of this tragedy will remain etched in their collective memory. Yet, even in the midst of such profound loss, there is hope. There is the hope that comes from unity, from compassion, and from the shared commitment to create a safer future. Section 11. From Grief to Action, A Plea for Change. The Neethi Bridge accident is a tragedy that should never have happened. It is a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of road safety. But it should not be just another statistic, another news story that fades from our memories. Let this tragedy be a catalyst for change. Let us transform our grief into action. Let us work together to make our roads safer for everyone. Let us honor the memory of those we have lost by creating a future where such tragedies are consigned to the history books. This is the least we can do for the victims of Neethi Bridge and for all those who continue to use our roads. Let us choose safety, let us choose life, 